something you're about to see could be true, or it could be the figment of our celebrity's imagination. It all depends on whether you believe. Have we all been here before? In a past life? If we'd been here before, who were we? Many people believe that under deep relaxation, they've recalled vivid and detailed memories of past lives. The question is, is it true? Some people believe that past life regression is a way of exploring the idea that we've all been here before. We'll be taking our celebrity into their subconscious using a form of hypnosis. The often startling revelations will be put to the test as our history detective follows the clues looking for solid evidence. Are these memories of past lives or just fantasy? The experts will have their say, but in the end, it's up to you to decide. What do you believe? Have we been here before? On today's show, we'll be probing the subconscious mind of musician, writer and actress Toya Wilcox. She's been through many changes in her varied career and is well known for her alternative views. But does Toya believe that she's been here before? This life, um, Toya Wilcox, um, I have found incredibly frustrating. I have, have not enjoyed being a woman. I do believe that I've been made a woman as... Um, punishment for being um, a heartbreaker in my last life. I've always had a strong feeling about that. I feel as though I have a male soul trapped in a female body. I, I think there's nothing better than escaping what you're used to. I really dislike anything habitual, anything predictable, uh, and I, I sometimes feel that being me is a prison sentence, and I know my critics would agree, um, that, you know, there's something quite awful about the thought of remaining one person forever. I really don't like it. Therefore, I'm very optimistic about departing this body. Well, Toya is certainly no stranger to the concept of past lives, but what will we discover today? I am so fascinated by what could happen today because anything could happen. Andrea argues that there's a lot to be gained from accessing what she believes are past life memories. So take a seat and lay down. The level at what you'll access a past life on in regression is very unique and individual to the person who's experiencing it. Some people it'll seem like they're watching a film, some people it'll seem like they're actually in the film, and sometimes it'll seem that the past life is more real than the reality you're living. For the session to begin, Andrea will need to get Toya into a deeply relaxed state. She'll use a calming voice and relaxation techniques to open up Toya's subconscious mind, where she believes any past life memories would be held. You feel totally, totally relaxed, and you're just drifting and floating further and further back into your subconscious mind. What do you sense happening now? I'm inside, it's dark. I have very little on, and that's deliberate. It's a way of keeping me there. I have rope around my waist. Mm -hmm. It's as if I have Hessian on. And I'm enclosed inside a dark room. I can see very, very little light. Mm -hmm. Are there any windows in the room? Very small. And how long do you sense you've been in the room? Do you have a feeling of yes. how, how long have you been in the room? Five years. Is it ever believed or your belief that you would ever leave that room? No. I leave when I die. And are you aware of having a name? Naomi. Did you have a family name? Conto. Do you know what year it is? 1405. And where in the world are you? Holland. I have been put in this room by my village. Why has your village put you in the room? So that I can absorb their sins. I'm an anchoress. I will die in this room. Mm -hmm. And what is an anchoress? I live within the walls of the church and no one sees me. People can talk to me through 
the window, which is just above my head. And they come and they tell me their secrets. I carry their sins. What are the main sins that the people wish for you to absorb? What are their main <laughs> sins? <laughs> Sexuality. Sometimes the girls come and tell me when they're in love. Was this your choice to go into this room? <sighs> My mother had no choice and I had no choice. Were you held in a higher regard than the other girls? I just knew that I was never being groomed to be a mother because it was intended I'd follow the last anchoress. Is your mother allowed to visit you? Yes. Does she come into the room? No one comes into the room. So ill. I'm just ill. I'm thin. I have sores. My hair is falling out. Mm -hmm. Do you sense why you're ill? I'm incurable. I'm undernourished. I have sores. And I'm surrounded by my own filth. I'm just lying on the ground and I'm really, really weak. Okay, I want you to go to the point now as your soul leaves your body. What are your thoughts now as your soul leaves your body? To go, just want to go. I have no regrets. I have no desires. I have nothing to remain for. What decisions have you made about life based on that lifetime as the anchoress? I want to see daylight as much as possible. In a few moments, you're going to be coming back to the present where every part of you is going to be back in the present. Seven, eight, eyes open, nine, ten, wide awake. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel? <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> I, I feel as though I've actually taken the holiday from myself. I found it very strange and quite ironic that um, one of the lives I found was an anchoress because I feel quite out of place in this life. I, I don't feel as though I'm feminine, I, I feel masculine. And also that I feel that I've never fitted in. So it's quite unusual or quite strange that I find a, a past life that really, really didn't fit in um, to the point where you know, you spend your life bricked up in a church. So the question is, what do you think? Could Toya really have been an anchoress in a past life? One way to investigate the notion is to look for any historic truth in what Toya said. And that's why we sent our history hound, archaeologist and historian Jules Hudson, out on the trail to see what he could uncover about Toya's anchoress, Naomi. Toya gives us a very, very vivid picture of life as an anchoress. I'm enclosed inside a dark room. Not only did these women give up their lives for prayer and solitude, they lived in tiny little cells like this one. I can see very, very little light. As you can see, it's absolutely tiny. But if you chose to be an anchoress, this would have been your home for life. I'm an anchoress. I will die in this room. Would you like to see what Jules uncovered? We'll see you after the break. <laughs>